A universally disliked instructor, an abandoned student, and a grieving cook form an unlikely holiday family in director Alexander Payne's The Holdovers. Sir, I don't understand. That's glaringly apparent. I can't fail this class. Oh, don't sell yourself short, Mr. Coates. I truly believe that you can. The premise for the film was suggested by a 1935 French movie, which I saw at a film festival about a dozen years ago. Theme is a more unconscious thing for me personally. I just think, well, I'm going to write a story mm -hmm. and themes will come unconsciously just through the process of what feels right. But what would you say about theme? You know, it's funny. This Alexander Vance's premise, which I thought was a great kind of jumping off point. I had you got stuck with babysitting duty this year. How'd you manage that? The theme is, is basically from stasis to freedom, you know, and, and, and both physically and emotionally. And, and I really only found that because um, I was studying his work and I was thinking about how to, how to create a matrix for these characters to, to exist in and for them to have, have some degree of progress. Do you think I want to be babysitting you? No, I was praying your mother would pick up the phone or your father would arrive in a helicopter or a flying saucer. My father's to take you dead. Up. Usually I, he'll send me the scripts, either the first draft or, yeah, almost always the first draft, I think. He'll usually send me it and I'll read subsequent drafts. And I'll give my two cents, my notes, my thoughts. You don't tell a boy that's been left behind at Christmas, that nobody wants him? What's wrong with you? I don't know at what point I made the decision to try this little trick of making a period film, not just be set in 1970, but look and feel like a movie made in 1970. A big part of me wishes I had been working then. Alexander said today, when you think about it, we've always been making 70s movies, and that is kind of true. Now, most of the kids dislike you, pretty much hate you. Teachers, too. You know that, right? I had the same experience on election years ago. It's hard to find teenagers to be in your movie if you want some veneer of reality about the movie. The answer is usually that those actors are out there, but it takes time to find them. I knew Paul Giamatti would be great. I knew Divine would be great, but, you know, I didn't know Dom at all but he delivered, so that's a surprise. History is not simply the study of the past, it is an explanation of the present. See, when you say it that way, and throw in some pornography, it's a lot easier to understand. Yeah. <laughs> we were uh, casting at the five schools where I was actually gonna be shooting, and there he was waiting for us in the drama department of Deerfield Academy. And it worked out really nicely for him in his first role to be a, a student at one of those academies, playing a student at one of those academies. It worked out just perfectly for him. This is your Rubicon. Do not cross the Rubicon. Thanks for checking out this video. We want to know what would you have asked? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, for more videos like this, hit the MIH TV logo right here. And for the next awesome video, click right there.